Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie, and these are our top five whiskeys from the state of Oregon. So we get asked about our favorite Oregon whiskeys a lot, and we're not the only ones. Apparently not. We had this idea to reach out to other channels and see if they would be interested in doing a top five list of whiskeys from each of their states. The feedback that we got from those other channels was, we get this question all the time too. So starting today, you will start seeing videos on several different channels talking top five whiskeys from their states. We're doing Oregon, and we'll tell you more at the end about who else is involved. And if you don't hear your favorite channel listed, holler at them, tell them to get on this, because we think this is a nice way to showcase some good local whiskeys you may not have heard of from these states. And if you're traveling and you find yourself in a liquor store, which we often do, you'll have some idea of what's good in that state. So if Oregon's known for one thing, it is beer. Mm -hmm. And coffee. Yeah. And probably trees too. Pro probably so, trees. So three things. Three things. And this bottle sort of encapsulates all of that. And we're starting off with this one because it's sort of the quintessential Oregon whiskey. It is Black Butte whiskey and it's produced by collaboration between Deschutes Brewing and Ben Distillery. It's two central Oregon businesses coming together to produce something really, really awesome. Super delicious. This particular bottle has, for me, coffee first, then this amazing chocolate sip. Mm -hmm. It's almost like dessert. You're drinking a little bit of dessert, but then that oaky presence kind of kicks in. Totally, yeah, it's sweet, it's earthy. You get all those flavors that you would expect in a real Oregon whiskey if you were expecting anything at all. So this is distilled from the wash of Deschutes Brewing's Black Butte Porter. So some of that beer flavor is coming through. You get the maltiness, you get the chocolatiness, but you're also getting some raisin, dark fruit, plum flavors showing up. We even find a little bit of banana on this bottle now, which when we first bought this bottle, this is an old bottle from 2017, we did not get any of that because our palates weren't refined at all. All we knew is we really liked it. And when we moved here years ago, I remember lines around the corner when they were releasing the bottle. Luckily now I think it's a bit more available. Yeah, it's an annual release that you will find on shelves. And this is the three year version. There's also a new five year version that just came out last year. So this is 94 proof, like I said, aged three years, sells in the neighborhood of 65 to $75, depending on whether you get the three or the five year version. If you like beer and you like whiskey, this is one you definitely need to check out. So next up is one of the most fun flavor profiles that we've ever found on a whiskey. And we're going from Central Oregon to Portland in the Northwest. This is Stone Barn Dark Roast Straight Rye Whiskey. This is a real Portland whiskey. <laughs> the flavors here are so surprising, so shocking. It actually feels like Portland when you drink it because Portland has a very eclectic food scene and it's delicious and it has a wonderful kick and spice to it. And this has a jalapeno flavor to it that surprises you, but delights you. Yeah, from food <laughs> trucks to restaurants all over Portland, you can expect to find unusual flavors. Coffee, chocolate, great rye flavor. And extremely spicy. It is very, very rye forward. This whiskey has such a nice, sweet jalapeno spicy kick on the finish. Absolutely love this one. No surprise, it was our top rye from Oregon for 2021. I think this is what makes craft distillery so fun. They can kind of reach out with their flavors and try like crazy different things. And that comes through in this bottle. Stone Barn Brandy Works producing the best rye we've tried from Portland. Absolutely fantastic. Like it. So this next one is the most Kentucky bourbon that we have found in Oregon. I'm excited about it. I want you guys to try it if you can. Trails N10. Trails N10 from Hood River Distillers. This product is amazing. It is distilled in Kentucky, but then it gets finished in Oregon oak casks. And something about the Oregon oak, something about the 10 years of aging, it just produces a decadent whiskey. This was our favorite Oregon bourbon for 2021, and I still stand by it. It is delicious. And look at this color. It is just beautiful. In my opinion, this is everything that Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel was meant to be. It is rich. It is super oaky. Dark brown sugar, vanilla buttercream. The flavor lasts forever. It's so delicious. And this is a bottle that is 105 proof, 10 years aged, $60 what we got this for, which I think is a tremendous deal for what you get. There's also an eight year version that sells in the neighborhood of $40 and it's under 100 proof. Mm -hmm. Also fantastic, but this one just stands out to us. It is 
Fantastic. Have I, have I said it's fantastic? I said it four times. It's great. I know. I want more. <laughs> So this is the most unusual whiskey on our list. It might be the most unusual whiskey on anybody's <laughs> list. This is Branch Point Trit Straight Whiskey, small batch pot distilled from Dayton, Oregon. Triticale is a rye wheat hybrid developed in the late 1800s in Scotland and it combines the spice and complexity of rye with the approachability of wheat. And this particular whiskey is made from triticale, rye malt, and distiller's malt, pot distilled, and then matured in new charred American oak casks. Vanilla, caramel, fruity rye spice, light brown sugar. It's super sweet, mm -hmm. very desserty. I, I think that it tastes kind of like a flan. It's a great after dinner drink, 92 proof, four years aged, $50. And we keep saying that it's unusual, and I want to reiterate that because when I first tried it, I was like, well, I'm not sure what I think about it. I gave it like a half an hour and I was doing other things. I came and revisited the glass and I was like, oh no, this is delicious, it's in. Yeah, absolutely. Try this one after dinner, you will not be disappointed. So on our tour to Oregon, we've gone from Central Oregon to Portland to the Columbia River Gorge to wine country, now back to the Columbia River Gorge. This one comes to us from Clear Creek Distillery in Hood River, Oregon. This is McCarthy's Single Malt Whiskey. If you follow the channel, you know how unusual it is to see a peated whiskey on any list for us. <laughs> But this one caught me specifically completely off guard and I've been totally enamored with it. So this is another collaboration between a distillery and a brewery. Right, Clear Creek Distillery and Double Mountain Brewery. Double Mountain Brewery distills this whiskey from fermented mash of peat malted Scottish barley. That's hard to say. It is barrel aged by Clear Creek Distillers for a, a minimum of three years. I think this is just an explosion of flavors. I, to me, this is one of the most exciting bottles I've tried. I've been hammering this thing. We haven't had it very long. <laughs> it is not doing well. This in particular is a single barrel cask strength. This one is 113 proof, three years aged. Got it for $71. This one was actually chosen by Trailhead Liquor here in Bend. I'm not big on scotches and I'm not big on the peaty flavor. But even for me, this is pretty exciting. We get a nice balance of sweetness and smoke and fruit and oak. How about that? It all rhymed. I wrote that down. I was reading that. <laughs> on the nose, I get fresh blackberry on this one. And on the finish, you get almost like a blackberry wine and a ton of charred oak. So there's sweetness and smoke and balance all throughout on this sip. It lasts forever on the palate. It is one of the most satisfying whiskeys I've ever had. The mouthfeel is great. The finish is great. I'm reaching for this bottle all the time. I think it's fantastic. We got to get up to Hood River. Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> so these are our top five whiskeys from the state of Oregon. And if you're an Oregonian, tell us what you think of the selection or what we missed. And now keep your eyes open for all the other channels that are doing this for their states. Bourbon of the Week in Pennsylvania, Bourbon Wrench in Arkansas, Bourbon Junkies in Michigan. Also Whiskey Row in Virginia, Black Bourbon Family in Illinois, Stuff and Whiskey in Tennessee, SLB Drinks in Indiana, and My Bourbon Journey in Wisconsin. If you don't see your state on the list, reach out to your local whiskey tuber. I'm sure they're out there. Yeah. Tell them to join the fun. We will be creating a playlist for these videos. So if you want to create your own archive so that when you're on the road, you'll know what to pick up. And if you are a whiskey tube channel and you didn't hear your name, reach out to us. Let us know if you produce your own video. We'll add it to the playlist and from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. I got the funky one. Which one is that? <laughs>